I've wanted to drive my whole life. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, and it's crazy because I've always been like, you know, right when I'm 15 and a half is right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right then, and then I'm gonna get my license at this age. And da 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 da. And the thing is that then all this shit happened, and then I, I haven't even had enough time to like do all of that. So now I'm getting my license when I get back, and I'm 17. I was yeah. trying to do it years ago. Do you? So do you, obviously you would miss out on things like that as well. Your life yeah. has just got crazy, out of hand. Yes. People all over the world are big fans of your music, which is, of course, great, but then you would miss things mm. that, you know, people your age would be doing. Mm -hmm. um, do you have ways of being able to do stuff still? Do you ever, like, put a disguise on to go to the movies Dude, or something like that? I can't... I, there's no... I either go out as Billy or mm. I don't <laughs> go mm. out at all as anyone. Like, because there's no... I mean, like, when I did Ellen a couple months ago, I, I sort of played a prank on some of the people in the audience where I like dressed up as one of them and kind of like I put a wig on. I put like makeup on my lips so they weren't as, <laughs> as red. Yeah, right. <laughs> so they didn't look like me. Mm. I like put a hat on. I put all this like I put jeans on, like tight jeans. I didn't have any <laughs> chains on. I didn't have any rings on. Yeah, and right. immediately they noticed. Like it was, People yeah. just got it. I don't know what it... Uh, it's very annoying. Can <laughs> I just say as well, I was, I was watching that Ellen interview very um, strange how um, Ellen's going through like, oh man, all these people are fans of you. She's like, Dave Grohl's a big fan. I know he's here today. And the camera just pans out and Dave Grohl's just randomly in the <laughs> audience know. of your Ellen ah, interview. I know. It's so <laughs> goofy. I love the pan too because yeah. he's just like... <laughs> he's just chilling over there, there doing mm. his thing. Well, Billy, we've got a text here actually from Tegan, who saw you perform at Groove in the Moo over the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, she said, yo, ask Billy what it's like going from playing Coachella to playing regional Australia in Maitland? Um, two very different things. I was going to yeah. say, you can be honest. I mean, we, yeah, we no. are from Australia. We yeah. get it. Much smaller, <laughs> far smaller. I mean, yeah, it's just like a whole different world, you know? And, and also that's probably just, I don't know. I mean, it's everything. Mm. I think uh, one thing that's really cute that I always notice in like all the places I play, which is like, you know how they all sing along like at the top of their lungs mm. every show, yeah. which is unbelievable to me. I never thought that would happen in my mm. life until it did, and like now it's every single show, and you you won't you won't go to a show and not hear people singing along, which is crazy. But in every single like place I go to, they always sing in their accents. Yeah, it's so. <laughs> it's so we like, like bury your friend. Yeah. <laughs> no, really though, you you do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and it's crazy. It's like the difference, even like in like Auckland, New Zealand, I can hear the difference between there and like right. here. And it's like crazy, you know, when I'm like in Paris, then when they like chant my name, it's like a Billy, a Billy. <laughs> it's cute. It's very cute. Uh, we also wanted to mention your Instagram, which is of course popping off mm. fire. Mm. Uh, we noticed you're following specifically 666 people. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Yeah. I did some so Googling. The devil's number. I don't know if you've been asked about this before, but I did some Googling and I couldn't find any answers. So you do that on purpose. You didn't find any answers. I couldn't know. That's crazy. There was like a I've subreddit. I answered that question like 40 oh, times. Damn. Damn. I, I thought, thought I was going to win it. Scrap no, it. Don't answer it. It's fine. No, like I'm like impressed that you didn't find it. Okay. <laughs> so, no, yeah, I don't know. I just like, it happened like a by accident a yeah. couple years ago and I was like, oh, that's funny. And I kept it. <laughs> so is there anybody else that you're uh, like not following that you want to follow just for the sake of keeping it yeah. at 666? <laughs> well, the thing is I, I, it's just a stupid thing that I do. Yeah. And it also like, it's kind of helpful because it's like, it kind of maintains the amount of people that I follow. Mm. And also it, it lets me unfollow people that are like nothing. It's <laughs> like not people I know, like, right. like random accounts I followed when I was like 10 that yeah. are like, pictures of like grass or some shit. <laughs> like so you had some strange interests when you were 10 <laughs> i yeah. know i mean i mean but like i look through it if it says like 667 i'll be like shit and yeah. i go through it and i just scroll and i click a random one and i unfollow oh, that and then people get butt hurt they're yeah. like oh, you unfollowed me and i don't even i don't even know yeah. like you I, just got cold to bring in a freshie um, I mean, uh, we also noticed that um, you, you fo uh, follow Amy Shark and TK Mydza, mm -hmm. two mm. Australian artists. Uh, yes. Are you into any other Australian musicians? Um, I know that I am, but mm. I don't even know Ooh. names. The thing is, like, I don't, I don't really look into where people are from. Mm. That's fair. You know, I don't care. It's just about the music. I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna like like you because you're from here, mm. or yeah. not like you because like that's so dumb. Like, why would I put? 
a weird like label on top yeah. of people. We do have a, a bit of a recommendation for you because uh, you did come in. The last time you were in this specific studio, you were doing like a version, covered a bit of Michael Jackson. That's blown up since then. Mm. And uh, recently we had an act called Cubsport who covered one of your songs. Oh, that's right. You got Tim on the vocals, who's got that beautiful voice. Mm-hmm. You said that like you've heard it before. Have you heard this? I've heard about it. I don't about think it. I've actually listened to it, yeah. but that's yeah. so cool. Well, next time someone goes, oh, do you like anyone else from Australia? Cub Sport. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a lot of other great songs. <laughs> worth worth checking out, that's for sure. I remember the first time we spoke to you, Billy, um, we were talking about a song you wrote when you were 11 about The Walking Dead. Oh, Since yeah. then, obviously, we have a song with grabs in it from The Office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, lots of TV shows there. Are you, are you binging anything at the moment? Um, binging anything. Um, I don't got time to binge, but since you fools don't have the office in Australia. <laughs> we do. No, you do not. Oh, what do you mean? I've got, it's I've not got, on I'll Netflix. I'll give you my login if you want. It's, what you mean? It's, it's on a different service. It's on a different okay, service. Okay, but it's not on Netflix. I'm yeah. not trying to use anything but Netflix. <laughs> yeah. get, get one of those the VPN fuck? blocker things so you get you still get your American. I'm not telling you how to. You should know. <laughs> this, this, is, this, is, this is easy stuff. Dude, you don't have The Office. It's the most heartbreaking <laughs> shit. If I have to a... watch. I have to watch it in sections on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and also, so basically like, like I, I normally use The Office as like a... <laughs> Like a therapeutic, like, friend. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I, dude, I, it's playing. I'm, like, brushing my teeth. I'm washing my face. Mm. I'm washing my hands. I'm putting on jewelry. I'm fucking pooping. I'm, like, <laughs> in the bath, in the shower. It's always on. You won't even, like, enter my house and mm. it won't be on if I'm just, like, living. But so, it's not here. So, I've just, like, decided to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I don't know why. And oh, do you God. like it? You, I, not, you know like what? It. I do like it. I didn't, I've never even tried, but it's good. We're not in the business here of condoning doing anything illegal. But if I, say, had like a USB what app on you? my computer <laughs> with some office episodes Maybe on a it. a bit of a hard drive. You and know I, what? And I a couple of things across the table. Across. You know what I should just do? I'll buy it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I should no, do. I think given... You've probably got enough money now to buy <laughs> some, some why DVDs. Why am I doing this to myself? Like, damn. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine-Nine is good, though. For real. It's been so great having you in Australia. Um, I've seen so many videos of people just like, like swarming you at <laughs> airports and things as well. There was this one video and people just crying and screaming and giving, <laughs> giving you things. What's the strangest thing a fan has ever given you, whether it be at a, like a show or a uh, meet and greet? Um, given me? Um... Uh, I don't even, there's crazy stuff. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think though. I mean, people have thrown like underwear. Really? Oh. Get not even a bra. Stage. Like I've been, also bras have been thrown, but like mm. underwear, like. It's not great. I what, don't. Cause the like thing that? is like with a bra, that's probably like, oh, they probably took it off during the show and yeah. then are throwing it to you. But I'm not trying to have your, the underwear you just took off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. But but they, you know, they're so unbelievably talented. Like, they have, have given me things, made me things mm. that are like, wow, what the hell? Like, why isn't this in a fucking museum? Mm. Like, honestly, drawings that I've, uh, that look like pictures, yeah. you know, like... It's the it's the craziest thing. Like this was, this was actually a roundabout way of Liam and I giving you a USB with some yeah. office episodes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know the true key to Billy <laughs> Eilish's heart, and we they have it get, right they here. They really do it though. They like you know they brought me Cheetos the other day. Oh, okay, oh. Me Takis and stuff. Like somebody brought me. Um, Is Takis? Oh my god! Somebody. What What's kind of a question was that? It's a Taki. It must have been. I was going along with that. Just, I was, you I was didn't know, did you? Cool. I don't you didn't know. You don't know what Takis are. What's a Taki? Y'all. Come on. Can you tell us? It's like, bro, it's like a... Do you know? <laughs> do you I do know, but I'm You've so forgotten. mad. Okay, Takis, <laughs> yeah. it's basically like, it's just like a junk food okay. Okay. bag of, what do you call it? Cr- crisps? Crisp chips. chips yeah. But they're not really chips. They're like, they're basically like corn chips rolled into this like, it looks like mm. a joint almost. It's mm-hmm. like this rolled... It's like a twisty. Like a twisty. Yeah, but it's not twisted. It's oh. like literally rolled like a tiny little burrito. Gotcha. Roll, roll. And <laughs> and it's like dark red because it has all these like seasonings and spices on it. It's really spicy. They're like really spicy like 
Yeah. Look, Billy, I could talk to you for hours about the office and he's trying uh, to end his <laughs> yeah. but He's trying being, to get it off. <laughs> I am being told you're a very busy uh, lady. You've got <laughs> stuff to do. We have to get you out of here. Thank you so much for the chat this morning. Mm. Enjoy the rest of the shows for Groove and the Moo and enjoy the rest of your day. I will. Thank you for having me. 